at 3 o'clock in the morning and I couldn't sleep. Um, a lot of heavy chemical sprays in the sky last night. And ironically, I got up at 5 in the morning, went surfing, had a lot of energy running all day, went to dance class tonight, but my body could not make it through the whole class, but I still couldn't sleep. And I thought for sure I'd be able to fall asleep after all that activity, but I couldn't. And so I thought, mm, what's going on? You always have to wonder what's going on. So sure enough, I went to the map and occasionally when they don't want you to see things, um, they will block out the low clouds. So they blocked out the low cloud resolution for the last two days, 29 and 30 um, on Hawaii, but they are showing the low cloud resolution in California. And I have a frame on my other computer right now that's showing the microwave radiation, the rings, and I'm going to bring that up in a second, but it's a couple of days behind. So let's see what we're running here. We're running 28, and let's see if it goes to 29. Sometimes when they're doing a lot of stuff to the sky, I have noticed that they will um, make an entire day disappear. So they did that here too. All we can see here is the 28th. Sorry, let me slow this down for us. And that means that probably around frame 38 or 40, we will be able to see the um, microwave radiation here. So let me go ahead and step forward because I guarantee we'll catch it right around. There it is. Okay, so here we have it again. Um, and what I realized was what was on Mimic, where you saw those weird rings that I showed you on the Mimic map. I think that's what it looks like on Mimic, and this is what it looks like on the Naval Military Radar. And, you know, there's more and more people. I keep sharing videos with everyone that see the same thing. They know the same things going on. So, no, I'm not just some out-of-the-box thinker artist crazy person because if I was I'd be the only one posting these videos however there's more people who are noticing the same thing that right there is signs of the radiation that they hit in this entire area and that was approximately 1745 um, they do Zulu time so it's a little off from what we know as time but that was on the 28th so I'm just gonna run this for you to take a look at it as this map runs and a lot of ship track trails here off of California. You can see where they definitely block some weather from coming into um, the northern area of the United States, which would be up there by, I think that's Oregon. I'm really bad with geography. <laughs> um, blocking there, whenever you see such things like that with the whole dark coming in, they're covering up something they're doing. And this happens often, but not often enough for us not to be able to catch some of the evidence of the microwave radiation. So whatever they did yesterday, because it was heavy, heavy overcast spray, and they radiated it because all the clouds went into that funky, you know, waffly shape, all bumpy looking, um, affected me today because I can't sleep today. And so I find that very strange. So let's go ahead and slow it down just a little bit more. Sorry if you hear the tapping sound, but uh, it's easier for me to record on my lap, my tablet here. And just pay attention. You always want to just keep looking and paying attention to see anything strange in the map. Now um, watch again, you'll see the radiation come up. It's about frame. 38 and there it is and now I want to go a little bit further because I saw something else that was peculiar I mean let's face it you now you na at this point those of you who are watching this video have to know those are not clouds those weird shapes the stringy shapes um, we know what they're doing how they're allowed to do it I don't know but I understand that they have been here we go working on all the legal protection to do this for a long time. So this seems very strange to me. See how this all looks digitized, uh, heavy metals, metallic, I don't know what you want to call it, but what I find interesting is, I don't know what this is, anyone who's kind of figuring this out, 
watch what happens when I go to frame 5. All of that red disappears, and you can kind of see the lines from where the radiation hit. But when you go to frame, when I go back one frame, all the red is here. And I still have not figured out what that means or what's happening when that happens there. So let's go ahead and take a look now at Hawaii, and then we'll go to Mimic to see what's going on there. As you know, there's a couple more hurricanes that they probably want to send over. And if the theory is right, and this is someone's theory, that they want to flood out the big island to cause some combustion to happen um, when the water and heavy rains hit the lava that's still flowing to cause, I guess, this fissure to just crack off and send part of the island into the ocean to create some huge tsunami. I mean, it makes sense, you know, to me, I guess. I mean, it doesn't seem like it's that far-fetched. Not, not far-fetched compared to the people who are spraying our sky, so who knows what they're up to. I just constantly have to remind myself that people like this have lost their mind, and they can't live in peace, and they just thrive on death and destruction and uh, such, you know, they have a mental illness. And it's very sad, because most people would be happy and content just to live um, and work together as communities and live peacefully. So take a look at this. I thought this was strange. See all these white lines that are coming across the supposedly low clouds? That was what we saw when they were affecting and changing the actual hurricane lane that was here. And it's still <coughs> trickling. This is, oh, sorry. That's still um, affecting the clouds. So watch this again. Let's zoom in. And to me that says that there's just a lot of heavy metals and toxins in the clouds for them to react this way still. Okay, look at that. You start seeing these weird white spots come up and they come up again and they come up again. That one was really significant right here. So what are they still doing? What's happening here? What are they trying to do with this leftover moisture that was from Lane? But if you watch a few videos back, you'll see where they seeded all this. And they've been seeding these clouds to bring in more moisture. And, you know, I know that they have fun playing with the weather, but I don't, I think there's going to be a backlash and it will cause maybe some unexpected natural disasters because you just can't play around with mother nature you'll never win but they'll figure that out soon enough okay let's go back here and what you can see in frame 40 again is the emf um, microwave radiation um, because hawaii zooms in so much you'll notice that it just looks like curved lines but when you saw it in california because it pulls out a little bit more you get the actual um representation of the rings and these rings are what happens I think I've mentioned this before if you radiate or put certain frequencies for let's say a speaker and you put sand on it the different frequencies will send out different um, patterns and this is a frequency of radiation hitting our earth and I know they're doing it with our satellites possibly the low satellites or who knows which satellite to use, but there is the indication right there. Let's move this forward a little bit more. And you know, when you live in Hawaii, you always see the strange clouds. I mean, you just can't help but to look up and wonder what's happening. Not as bad as California, and it's a lot worse in California. But, you know, I just think people need to stop looking at their phones and look up. So that weird black line, occasionally this will come in. Uh, I'm not sure what that means, but it'll be in random places across this radar on either map. And so let's just frame this out. So I got really concerned when I saw that. And that's a lot of... chemically enhanced weather right there. So this should not come up. This is, you know, if we could look at any of these maps years ago. These kind of anomalies with the white and the pink and the digital lines, 
that's not normal. And yet they still keep coming up, and after they come up, you can see a change in the weather pattern, which makes you really question what it is and why. Okay, so let's take a look at Mimic. That's also another really good map. Let's see what's happening here. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so already I'm seeing some sort of white thing off of the coast of Mexico. And you see when that comes up, how it kind of changes the weather pattern there. The hot and cool areas of the water. Okay, I did see this. So you know that we have the supposable, I think, two more hurricanes coming in. Ah, you can see what they're doing. All right. Take a look at the two different swirling areas of warm water coming toward the islands, coming off the coast of um, Mexico area. You can see that they're just fine, and then they hit them with the microwave frequency, and then you'll see them isopheric heat the inside of the hurricane to try to help give it more strength in an eye. And you'll see it hit the one, and you'll see it hit the other one. I think this one is Mira or Mirma or whatever her name is, and I think this one's Norman or something like that. So take a look and watch what's happening here. This is being steered and directed, and they're trying to build the storm up, and they can only do that by heating the inside of it. So first they send these radioactive something or other through the sky and you can watch it because if you pay attention you'll see first the little white dot comes up here right by northern uh, southern california mexico and it changes the hot and cool area it almost pushes it down and when it pushes it down it starts spinning norman more and then once it starts spinning they come in and hit it with a little white in the inside of it and you'll see the same thing happen with the other hurricane that's uh, coming closer to Hawaii right now. They hit it with the microwave strip that looks like that white line. It shifts the weather pattern, and then it helps it spin more, and then they heat the inside of it. I know it sounds crazy, but if these were just glitches in the computer, they wouldn't be affecting the weather. So and you can go back and forth with both radars to see what's happening in this. So now as I'm showing you this, I want to go to the bigger map to see what else they've done or manipulated. So let's come out here. Excuse me. It is 2 o'clock in the morning. I'm actually really tired. And you can see when the lines come up. And that goes across the entire globe. I mean, they've really got this thing wired. They're not messing just with one area, you know. They're manipulating the entire uh Earth, and they've, they've certainly put enough satellites up there to make this work. Um, just keeping my eye out for anything else. And I just, I kind of scan the map now. I learn to scan and I watch where the cool air is coming and where the warm air is, and I watch when these lines hit to see where it significantly changes. Okay, here's another one. Over here, same thing they're trying to do. They're trying to get a hurricane over here on this side, which would be on the other side, um, more west of the Hawaiian Islands. So again, you'll see that it's starting to spin. Um, they hit it with the microwave energy right there, and then you'll see just a little blip of the white coming inside the eye of the storm. See, just a little bit. Uh, that's what we have for now. Let's go to the West Pacific. Let's take a little bit closer look here. And this way we can see this hurricane. They were enhancing over near Japan. Okay, here it is. It's down kind of on the bottom. It's, you know, it's got enough warm water there to be natural, but they want to be in control of this. So you see them hit it with a little bit of the white light, which is the uh, iso heating um, and uh, let's see anything else I think that's about it for now 
So I would advise you to stop watching the news and start taking the time to look at these maps on your own. As you start watching these maps, you will begin to see the things that you will question. And they line up with the hurricane, the direction of the hurricane, and the unnatural way that lane came up in almost a 90 degree angle, turned, moved to the left, and then they destroyed it. So I wouldn't mind if they were manipulating the weather if it was for good, like putting rain in places that doesn't have rain, and if they were doing it in a natural way where we weren't getting sick or our body wasn't compromised due to the chemicals that they're using to enhance the weather. Uh, that's my opinion. You know, if you're going to do something, make sure it's safe. Make sure it's not going to have some kind of real adverse effect on humans or life on Earth. Um, because there's always natural ways to do things. Or the other idea is don't mess with the weather. Just let it be. Um, I noticed something over here. If you look at the Hawaiian Islands, watch when you... Okay, you'll see something start to spin. And because you can see that weird kind of slice in the map, that's when they hit the microwave radiation, but you don't see the actual light. Watch what it does and see how it significantly changes the weather pattern. I mean, it's literally bringing up all of this warm water to go up and hit this cooler mass of water. That's pretty fascinating. I mean, it really is. Um, I mean, in hindsight, I will tell you that if I was looking at this and it didn't have all these weird things going on, it'd be kind of boring. But uh, it's kind of interesting to watch them just completely destroy and manipulate our natural weather patterns. All right, I'm super tired. I should probably try to go to bed before I have to wake up and go to work. So again, keep watching the maps and pay attention and, uh, you know, stay safe. Aloha.